Hello and welcome to yet another video. I'm again outside, you can hear the ducks. I have backpack stripe pods, another camera backpack to show you what it takes to do underwater photography or videography. When I say videography, don't think we're gonna make like National Geographic production or something. Just to make some clips underwater, as the most of you asking all the time. Now we found a nice place. I'm gonna leave you there. I hope you're gonna be all right. Take out the backpack. Okay, take out my backpack. Take out the tripod. Putting out the big tripod. You also can see what takes like a stupid YouTube video. So, the most common question. I have my back to the people that they're passing. Alright, it will be fine. So the most common question, what's the best camera for the starters? 3,000 times, if not more, the people say it's Olympus, TG5, TG6, me neither, I say the same. Nowadays it's the best compact camera you can buy, but what I have for you. I have for you my Lumix TZ, TZ10, it's a very old camera with an external strobe light, that's extra, yeah, that's a camera with a flash, you can put the adapter for the fiber optic, I have the adapter back home, I don't have it here, I'm gonna make something to put it there, yeah. Test, clean, firing. That's one, yeah? Number one. Phone housing from Hot Dive. I used it, it's perfect. So we can use mobile phone you can use a GoPro that comes here here actually it's the Lumix old mod old model quite cheap not gonna break the bank That goes here, and now we go. Housing and dome port. Yeah, for your GoPro. Plus here, it goes the lights. You can see how powerful they are even if they are Chinese, cheaper. That goes here. You have to use another clamp, which is 20 something pounds, every clamp. 14, 15, I don't, I don't remember exactly how much, but they're not cheap. Yeah, everything about underwater photography or underwater videography it's not cheap you have to spend a lot so especially for you that you saw clips like that one I'm gonna put you now to see yeah don't think that video came out only with a GoPro or only with a Panasonic Lumix or with a Canon or it's not that easy guys or for you that you're asking for the paddy photograph, underwater photographer course, they just give you one GoPro, take three, five pictures, and that's all. You're gonna be happy if you find an underwater photographer and his instructor, and actually teach you some stuff. F-stop, composition, 
lights, distance, and all that things. So, Ooh. almost scratched my teric. So, that's for the GoPro only. Yeah. And here. We have my brand new housing for the camera that I'm using now, which is the Olymp uh, Canon M50. Quite good camera. Yeah, two latches, all the buttons, all the bits and bobs, everything. And you want to tell me now that even if I take that camera and put it underwater, I'm gonna make National Geographic quality. No. No. So, if you see what I create now in three minutes, I make an absolutely mess. So, first of all, ask yourself what you want to do. You're going to do video, you're going to do pictures, you're going to do both. You're starting with a small camera. For me, and for most people out there, TG5, TG6, it's the best solution. We have very good macro capabilities, very good picture. I think it's a 4K video. You have all the accessories, all the bits and bobs and everything. You can find for, from Buckscatter to Inon and so many brands out there. They're making filters, they're making dome ports, wide angle lenses, strobe lights, flash lights, video lights, snoots, everything everything you want to make you can grow up with that camera so for example if you are a holiday diver for me the best thing to do is take a housing for your smartphone which is that one here that specific one has a dive computer application inside you have built-in lights have built-in vacuum system you go holidays chuck your phone in happy days you go back to your room wash it give it a charge now next a GoPro it makes very good video also you can find dome ports and all that things red filters green filters magenta filters for green waters what say green filters no, forget about that. Magenta filters for green waters. I use a GoPro 5. Do I need more than that? Do I need 10? Do I need 11? No. If I'm willing to spend 400 pounds or euro or US dollar, how much the new GoPro now? The best thing that GoPro does is the stabilization. You go like this and the actual footage is straight. If you have something like that and you don't go like crazy underwater, your footage will be straight anyway. If you know how to edit, you're gonna straight it up on the video editing. Can produce very good pictures, no. Can produce very good video. Yeah, absolutely. But again, it's what you're looking from that. What you want to take out of that thing. You have that nice small camera. You take a housing with a strobe light or with video light. You open it up. It's freezing cold here. Chuck it in. Open the camera. Connect your strobe light. Open your strobe light. And you start shooting pictures. For me, first option is TG5. Second option, the GoPro. One light. Two lights. Not in the brightest. This is how cold it is out here. <laughs> and if you want to add some drama, you want to make a dramatic scene. Mm. 
I don't know how I make that, but when I came here everything was nice packed in. Now I can't put them back, like as usual. <laughs> 